The very first of its kind, the UK Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival, took place between the 24th and 27th of September 2015. With a definite trend in our customers angling active heading towards the idea of saltwater fly fishing, we decided to head down to St Maws of Cornwall and follow what was going on at the festival. St Maws is perfectly located for this event and Derek Onger explains. The UK Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival this year was the, the first one we ever held. It was the brainchild of Amelia Whitaker, who, who contacted me because she'd had a visitor to her bed and breakfast establishment who, who'd who been bass fishing locally and was, she was quite impressed with what he did and he was also impressed with the area. So she contacted a few of the local people and she got a, she really did uh, get a bee in her body about things she was really determined to carry on. The idea was to, was to bring saltwater fly fishing, not just locally but to light and to give it some sort of profile and to try and produce something that, that would carry on throughout the years and would bring fly fishing, uh, saltwater fly fishing and people from everywhere all over the world. We've got one, one gent that's come from Czechoslovakia and so that we bring up to people to call, to help and, and introduce people to fly fishing for bass, uh, for mullet, for pollock and um, this is, we, we've really achieved this and we're really pleased with the, with the approach that we've had this year. Very lucky here because it, it is a part of the tourism area but what we also have is very good water. We've got quite a good estuary areas. The water is crystal clear. And um, another thing we like to do is, is, is to keep the sustainability of fish. Uh, all of our catches in our competitions and throughout the festival are catch release. And um, that's, that's how it starts. And everybody appreciates that and everybody is willing to carry on and do that. Uh, the, the other advantage that we find now with this year's Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival is that we can see that it has, it's had so much uh, attention, especially from professionals and, and the media, that we realise that there is a, a great opening for this to happen in future years. And even now we're speaking about planning next year and the way we can change things and improve things. And we've got a lot of response, a lot of help from, from people that um, are in the know-how. Um, how could you imagine fishing in a, in a more beautiful location than where we are at the moment? And this, this is how co the Cornish coast is in general. There's, literally hundreds upon hundreds of miles of beautiful coastline and it's, it's just a fantastic place to fish. Uh, a, a good range of species here. Uh, the, the people in the competition have obviously caught garfish, pollock, bass, so it's a wide range of species. My particular bent is uh, mullet. A um, little bit tricky in the immediate area but if you're prepared to travel 20 minutes in the car there's some fantastic mullet fishing available. Uh, took a couple of lads yesterday for the, the first attempt at mullet fishing and what a, a wonderful day. You would, in fact, I thought you were in the Caribbean rather than the UK. The, the colour of the water, the, 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 the light and the, the golden sand and uh, the mullet are very much like bonefish in that sense. So no need to travel to the Caribbean to enjoy some superb fishing and wonderful surroundings. The best way to research places to fly fish on the Cornish coast is by boat, and Austin Goldsmith's Zen 2 is the ideal craft for the job. Kitted out with some very good gear that we recognise through the shop, the boat has an incredible fish finder, not that Austin needs it, and lots of power on the back. Skipper Austin knows every bit of these waters, and he took us out to his favourite spots for Pollock, but also those wonderful sea bass. Fly fishing is not easy at the best of times. It's it's a hard way of doing things, but uh, fly fishing can feel like that in, in all its aspects sometimes. Uh, and the rewards are sort of in balance with the, with the effort that you put in. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes from here. Um, it's also a great learning exercise. Um, I, I just heard because the guys are, are just back who've been off mullet fishing today and one of the guys who was here from Plymouth uh, to, to listen to Colin McLeod's uh, talk yesterday apparently went back to Plymouth today and caught his first ever two mullet on the fly which is fantastic so people are learning 
Uh, it's an opportunity for people to come together who, who haven't met each other before, so they meet as strangers and part as friends, and, and that can only be a good thing, so uh, we shall see where it goes, but uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself and uh, look forward to next year. Having the right saltwater flies and fishing the weed beds and drop-offs, Mark Bowler explains how simple it is to get into UK saltwater fly fishing on our coast. My name is Mark Bowler, I'm uh, editor of Fly Fishing for Fly Time magazine, uh, publishing editor of it, so we're always looking for the way fish, fly fishing can expand. And saltwater fishing and fly fishing for me on, on the UK coast is one of those most obvious areas where it can happen. Um, because w when you've got such a resource as this, where you've got a huge coastline, even just around some moors here, just expand that throughout the whole country. You've got accessible fishing, which is free, um, and you can access it with a fly rod. I don't think too, too many people realize that, that what kind of fishing is available within, within yards of the coastline. Toby Cole from The Field magazine reiterates Mark's point. So I'm Toby Coe from The Field magazine. I'm here to cover the Fly Fishing Festival for an article in The Field. I thought the festival went very, very well. There was a real mix of anglers. We caught quite a few fish. The conditions were quite difficult, as you can see. It's quite bright today, which is never, never ideal for fishing from the shore. Nonetheless, we had several bass caught, lots of pollock, lots of mackerel, a few garfish. And overall, people had a thoroughly enjoyable weekend. And I think it's a very important festival because it's really celebrating fly fishing in the UK. It's the fastest growing area of the sport in the UK. There's more and more people doing it. And one of the great things for me is that it, it's free. Anyone can go and fish in the and see whenever they want. You can wander down here on a day like this and cast. There's no restrictions. No one can stop you. It's completely open, which is obviously very different from our river and, and freshwater fishing in the UK. So I would highly recommend anyone who wants to try fly fishing the salt, do go and try it yourself, or otherwise come next year, at the same time, the end of September in 2016. As the competition element of the festival came to a close, anglers were found scurrying around the entire St Moore's coast, trying to catch that last fish before the prize giving that afternoon. It's also a day fishing the Tamer Beach. Yep, 162 centimetres in length. Do you know who you are? 162. Super deep. Uh, yeah, I feel happy to say he got involved in the UK saltwater fly fishing competition uh, purely by chance. Uh, a friend of mine has a house down here and met uh, Amelia, and uh, they were looking for a whiskey distillery to sponsor uh, the event, and, and we were delighted to get involved. Uh, we're a small distillery, and we're looking for regional uh, events that we can help uh, in some way to promote uh, Kilhoven uh, whiskey. And so this was a, an ideal opportunity, and we've been delighted to be part of the the first event down here in St Moors. Uh, it couldn't have gone better, the weather's been fantastic and we very much hope that this will be something that goes forward in the future for many years and we'd like to be involved in it. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just delighted we've had a, such a wonderful weekend. Eh? This festival, UK Salt, um, has been a year in the making. Um, I was inspired last August when we had a guest at our bed and breakfast to XSAS, to Saltwater Fly Fishers and Sedimelia Creative Festival. 
um, it's never been done before in this country and it's been a, a, a huge road of discovery and learning for me. I, I've, I've loved meeting lots of interesting, very knowledgeable fly fishers on the way. I've loved this weekend, I've loved what we've achieved and I'm grateful to all of you out there who fly fish, who want to embrace fly fishing in this country. We're very keen that, um, that we carry this forward and um, with all the enthusiasm we've had this weekend, we want to um, plan something else for next year and try and make it uh, bigger and better. We're going to take a lot of the feedback we've had from people and, um, and try and create an even better festival for next year as we, as we see saltwater fly fishing. It definitely is, is something that's, that's coming and uh, getting more and more um, followers. The 2016 UK Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival will take place between September the 15th and the 18th. The festival will be offering several more workshops and fishing clinics, as it was this year, and hopefully this will offer something for all saltwater fly fishers to enjoy. Feel free to contact us at Angling Active if you need any more details on the UK Saltwater Fly Fishing Festival.